So angels don't hear English. So that's why we speak angelic tongues. To angelic speak to tongues. Them and not everybody can speak angelic tongues. There are times I spoke in Chinese and people from China, they were able to tell people, this is what he's saying. You can speak in my language without you learning my language. And you might not understand what you are saying, but there will be a message that has been conveyed and I can understand. I can be, by the Spirit of God, speak in Russia. What was happening earlier in the service is what the Word of God says, the signs of the end times. These are the things that God wants to do for every believer. Every minister, I was talking to one of uh, our church members uh, earlier. He said, as you was praying for people and the Holy Spirit was resting upon people, I was slain. And he says, I was taken to California to the street where revival took place. This is in Azusa Street. And he says, I saw activities that I never thought that I can, I can experience what took me there. And this is my prayer that God will touch everybody who's in America and beyond, you know, to bring us to the days of J. Cole, days of Catherine Kuhlman, days of Elijah, even beyond that. Because God's desire is to give us true revival. And I always want to tell people to understand the difference between revival and just a Holy Ghost visit. A revival comes with all the benefits of God. It comes with um, the power that the Holy Spirit comes with and also the fire, which is what the prophet was talking about earlier. In uh, talking about the power of the Holy Ghost, it does not manifest one power. If you study scriptures, there are times where Jesus would say, and there is, there is a power that comes upon you when the Holy Spirit comes. Book of Matthew, the angel speaking to Mary says, when the Holy Spirit shall come upon you, that's the Holy Spirit upon you. He releases a power upon you. Also, there is a time where the Holy Spirit can cause a power to be within you. He manifests the power within you. Very powerful and very amazing. And there is power to do something. It says you will receive power and you will have the grace to witness. So there is a power that can cause a person to do things. So, so much grateful because in these last days, God wants to release dimensions of his power, his grace, his anointing over people, but it's for the hungry, the people that are hungry for him. One thing that I like about God is before he releases power, he checks your amount of hunger. How hungry are you? Bible says, if you are hungry, you shall be filled. If you are hungry, you will be filled. It's a beautiful thing. Some of the people that you saw in the service earlier, these are people who have never experienced the Holy Spirit, but some are coming from orthodox backgrounds. So this is how much they have been robbed of the supernatural. It's, an, it's another thing to speak in angelic tongues or heavenly tongues. Um, God's tongues. There is also what we call God's tongues. And there's what we call the strange tongues. And there's what we call these tongues of men. And there's what we call the unknown tongue. These unknown tongues that we're talking about are different in this way. You, body, might not understand, but your spirit will. I don't know if you get it. Yeah. Your ears might not understand it physically, but your spirit man will. Now, the difference between the ones that I'm talking about is at least the spirit is being edified. There is a deep understanding that the spirit is communicating. There is a scripture in the book of Romans. My, my spirit bears what witness with the spirit of God. That means there is a communication of spirits, nothing to do with the physical body. So there can be spiritual communication that I can talk to your spirit. Yeah. But now things like the word of God, we are uh, not can I have a, ask a question? Yes. Uh, I'm new to I'm new to tongues. I'm not like the expert in angelic tongues, okay. but like, can someone preach in tongues? Is that is that possible? It depends. It depends. Like I said, tongues is a broad wind. We have tongues of men. Yeah. We are speaking a tongue right now. Yeah. But this is not my mother tongue. 
I was born speaking in a tongue or a language. The word tongue means language. Yeah. But because I want to talk to you in your language, I am changing my tongue to match up your tongue. Yeah. But that's not what I was born speaking. Mm. So if I go to my own people, I change the language and the tongue, and I speak to them in that tongue. Mm. Now what happens is, the tongues of men, men must understand, depending on their tribes. Yeah. When God gives you the ability to speak in tongues of men, like what happened on the day of Pentecost, it was not only one tongue that came there. Yeah. The first that was released was the tongues of men. So with the tongues of men, you can speak in my language without you learning my language. And you might not understand what you are saying, but there will be a message that has been conveyed and I can understand. There are times I spoke in Chinese and people from China, they were able to tell people, this is what he's saying. Yeah. I can be by the Spirit of God speak in Russia, but I've never gone to, it's called tongues of men. Oh, that's a lot. So it's part of the supernatural. And there is what we call angelic tongues. Angels, they don't speak our language, mm -hmm. of course. So when I'm talking, if ever you hear the scripture, where the Bible says, Mary said, how is this going to be possible? Talking to an angel, who was not speaking English. She was speaking the angelic tongue. Then it was translated into the tongues of men. So angels don't hear English. So that's why we speak angelic tongues. To angelic to tongues. Them, and not everybody can speak angelic tongues. Mm. That's why it says sometimes an angel can appear, talk to you, but you won't be able to talk back. So if, if, we're, if some people aren't able to like speak back to angels, but through the Holy Spirit, everybody can receive the gift of angelic tongues? When God sends an angel, he's a God of order. He sends the ability in the angel to convey messages with. Mm -hmm. There is a package mm -hmm. that he gives that angel that will enable the individual, number one, to understand, number two, to hear. It's not everybody who can hear. So for an example, have you ever read a scripture in the book of Acts? Yeah. When the encounter took place, there are some things that people who were around Paul could not encounter what Paul was encountering. Some could only hear, but they could not see what Paul was seeing. Yeah. So God gives you the ability based on the assignment. Why did they hear and they did not see? He wanted them to be a witness that for sure the guy had an encounter because we heard what he had. Yeah. But the assignment now was deeper than hearing. It was also connected to seeing. They were not permitted to see. If they would have seen, they were all going to be blind. We can be sitting here. An angel comes and stand here. Some will see him. Some will only hear him. And some will only experience what he is doing. Wow. But he's still here. Wow. Let me show you. The book of Acts, they are taking Paul to kill him, to Rome. Yeah. He says, the angel of God, whose I am, came and stood here, appeared to me. Now, they are in the same boat. They are in the same ship. But Paul is seeing an angel, talking to an angel, being given guarantee that nobody's going to die. Yeah. But they didn't see. Yeah. But they're in the same place. Yeah. God reveals himself to certain people. There is revelation. There is understanding with revelation. Mm. God can give you a revelation that you'll never understand. Wow. So God provides the understanding yes. too. Yes. Yes. Okay. So when an angel comes to you, God gives the angel, number one, a message, the ability to understand. And also the ability to see, the ability to hear. Yeah. So there are some people who can hear angels and they will never understand angels. I mean, there are people who can even hear songs of angels. Let me tell you something about the supernatural. It's so deep in this way. Have you ever heard a